The International Cricket Council on Tuesday announced a set of interim changes in its playing regulations, keeping in mind the concerns due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. All these changes, remember, have been made in line with the recommendations uh, made by the Anil Kumle-led Cricket Committee of the International Cricket Council. So what are these changes? The most important rule change is that the ICC has banned the use of saliva to shine cricket balls. Uh, how will this rule work? Well, initially, umpires will show some leniency to allow the players to adapt to this new rule. Uh, remember, shining the ball with the saliva is something which is done almost after every delivery is bowled in cricket. So it will take players a little bit of time to get used to this new rule. That is the reason why umpires will be uh, uh, told to show some leniency initially. After that, teams will be given warnings. After two warnings given to every team, uh, there will be a penalty of five runs. Uh, so remember, the teams will have to follow this new rule uh, because it is essential uh, to ensure player safety. Uh, how will they do it? Well, uh, this has been a topic of huge debate uh, in cricketing circles among former players, especially fast bowlers who said that bowlers will find it very difficult uh, without using saliva to maintain the shine on the ball. But as of now, they will have to depend only on sweat, which is the other natural uh, uh, source by which they shine the ball to ensure there is some kind of balance between bat and ball. The other important rule change is that the ICC has gone ahead and allowed uh, substitutions for players who are showing COVID-19 symptoms. Uh, these substitutions will be in line with the concussion substitute which exists in uh, test cricket as of now. Most important point, the COVID-19 replacements will be allowed only in test cricket. There will be no provision for it in ODIs or in T20Is. The match referee uh, will be uh, the one who will decide on the uh, substitution, uh, allowing the teams to go in for uh, a like-for-like -like substitute uh, for the players who is showing uh, these symptoms. Also, keeping in mind the logistical problems uh, which exist right now in terms of travel, uh, the ICC has decided to allow non-neutral umpires in bilateral series. Remember, whenever a test series takes place between uh, two countries, the umpires officiating in those matches are not from either of the countries, they are neutral. But given uh, the problems which are there right now uh, in terms of travelling, ICC will allow uh, known umpires and umpires who have been part of the elite panel from the same country where the match is happening to officiate in the matches. Now, uh, in line with this rule change, the ICC has also gone ahead and increased the number of DRS unsuccessful uh, appeals which are there in each innings of a match. So in test cricket, rather than two unsuccessful attempts, uh, teams will now have three unsuccessful attempts. In white ball cricket, in every innings, teams will be allowed two instead of one unsuccessful uh, attempt. The explanation from the ICC for making this rule change is that there could be instances where lesser experienced umpires could be officiating in matches and that is the reason why it is allowing teams uh, an extra uh, unsuccessful DRS appeal. These are changes of course which have been made by the ICC to ensure that cricket resumes and uh, the health and safety of the players and the officials which are involved uh, in a match are kept in mind because player safety remember is paramount to the ICC if it wants to restart cricket uh, even as the, uh, the world continues to fight against the coronavirus pandemic.